Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. All right, so the first thing I'll be doing with this image, I'm just gonna create a duplicate, and then I am going to remove the pimples. So I'm gonna zoom the image in, close enough so I can see the pimples, and I'm gonna go to here where it says uh, patch tool. You can use any tool you'd like to use to remove uh, blemishes from the skin. I like the patch tool. So I'm just gonna make the selections here and remove the blemishes. So this image was taken with the Sony A7 uh, R5. Uh, it's a 61 megapixel camera. I wasn't shooting at the highest because the files are too big. I was using the Rokanon 35 to 150 millimeter lens. I was using a highlighter as well under the model's neck. As you can see here, it's a highlighter. I was also using a flash. Um, my flashpoint light wasn't working the battery was done so i had to use a flash instead and it worked out well i did this uh shoot in my living room it was supposed to be a sunset shoot but the makeup uh took a longer time one of her friends was also a part of the session so we missed the sunset so i had to do it in my living room so all I'm doing right now is to remove the blemishes from the skin, as you can see. Uh, her makeup was done by, uh, I don't remember the makeup artist's name, but I'm going to put the, uh, the um, page for the makeup artist. And trust me, I liked what she did. It's really good. So, yeah, I think I have removed most of the blemishes so far. Yeah, that looks good. All right, perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fill in the eyebrow now. So I'm going to make a selection. Let me create a new layer first. And then I'm get the pen tool. So I'm going to press P on the keyboard for the pen tool. And I'm just going to make a selection around the eyebrow. All right, I may have to zoom down a little bit. Zoom out. All right, I'm just going to make a selection here like I may have to use my mouse because for some reason the pen the graphics tablet is not giving me a good selection so let me just use this perfect i'm going to hold on on um what do you call this again command command and just adjust it a little bit just bring it down a little bit like that good then i'm gonna make a selection here and then wait i may have to bring this up because it's too long in order for you to make a selection around it you have to bring it up a little bit all right so like this all right good so i'm gonna make a selection now I'm going to leave it at zero. So what I want to do now is to fill in the area here. So to get a perfect eyebrow. So I'm going to go to the, um, what do you call this again? The clone stamp tool. I'm just going to make a selection here. Holding down on option and making a selection and just paint. Just to fill in the eyebrow a little bit. Want it to look as natural as possible. So I make a selection, click, and then just fill in. All right. So I'm okay with that. But out here, I'm just going to make a... I, th I think you have to do Shift-Command-I to go outside. Invert, X, yeah. So I'm just going to go outside and clean up the little areas outside. I'm going to do it under here as well. So we have a perfect bra. I'm not going to um, adjust this part here. I'm good with that. So that's the brow so far. It looks, ah. yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit like that. Perfect. This one looks okay. I don't think I need to do anything, but I'm going to create a stamp visible layer. Let's just create a new layer. So it's shift, uh, option, command E. And I'm just going to make a selection again. Press key on the P on the keyboard so you can make a get the p the 
What do you call this tool again? Pen tool. So, I think I'm going to come down like that, like that, like that. Make a selection again. I'm going to get press S on the keyboard for my patch tool. All right, that's not working like how I expected it to. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to create I'm going to make a selection and then I'm going to command C command V to paste it. I'm just going to move it where I want it. Let's move it right there. Then I'm going to do option and press the mask option there. Press B on the keyboard for the brush. Where's the brush? Get the brush. I'm just filling. Make sure that your foreground is white when you're painting on black. Let's bring this in a little bit like that and that and that. So that looks okay. Gonna create a duplicate because I want to move it over here. Then I'm going to go back to the brush. What's happening here? All right, let me see. Let me just lower this a little bit like that. Then I'm going to do a stamp visible layer again. And then I'm going to get the patch tool and just move this about. Just blend it out a little bit. Not bad. I mean, it's not like anybody's going to zoom it up and look to see if it was done properly. <laughs> right. And then again, this side wasn't in focus uh, fully, fully in focus. I'm just going to remove some of these loose hairs from the face. Sometimes you want to um, zoom in as close as you can to make some adjustments because these little things that you remove will go a long way. Trust me. These fine little details here. All right, not going to spend too much on that. So let's look at the before and after for the brows. So that's for that one. Let me make this one as well. So wait, guess this one and this one. Good. So before, after, before, after. All right, so the next thing now is frequency separation. You can go to my website for the frequency separation action. Once you click on the frequency separation here, you're going to put this radius at 10. Uh, press OK. And then I'm going to go to the low layer. You want to go to your mixer brush. Mixer brush is normally nested on the brush. So you, you once you click, uh, right click on it, you should see a uh, mixer brush. But I took mine out because I... Wait, what's happening here? Oh, because I don't want it in there. So just press this button right here to clear the color. Ensure that your wet is at 24. And now I'm just going to even out the skin. Just like that. Just even out the skin. All right. I don't think I like what's happening here. I'm going to do it over. I'm going to delete this and do it again. And go to 10 or even 11. I'm going to do this again. You want to stay in a particular area. If you're mixing the light area, you want to stay there. And if you're mixing the dark area, you want to stay there as well. So let me just do this. You might over mix, so you have to just pay attention to what you're doing. And as I have always mentioned in my videos, I want my images to look as natural as possible. Don't want it to look too plasticky or too fake. Yeah. So it's going to go around here. Let me just zoom it up a little bit. 
and mixing using the mixer brush will flatten the skin so and sometimes it will take away the detail from the skin but i have a fix for that so yeah all right this looks good let's look at the before and after close up so that's the before that's the after i'm gonna come down to the model's neck So all I'm doing is going to one direction. And you don't want to overdo it, trust me. Alright, that looks good. That looks good so far. Alright, now I'm going to do some dodge and burning. So I'm going to go to the dodge first. And then I'm going to get my brush. Ensure that your brush is a soft, rounded brush. I'm going to put my opacity, well, the flow to uh one percent and i'm gonna start with the nose bridge just gonna light it up a little bit and ensure that your foreground is white when you're painting on black all right let's look at the before and after for that so before after good gonna zoom out a little bit i'm gonna do the forehead gonna do the chin gonna do the side of the cheek all right right here and then i'm gonna do down here as well right here right here right here and i am done now i'm gonna go to the well before after i think i want to blend out here a little bit more right here and right here as well always do a before and after before you move on because i just missed that just now even though i would actually see it after and fix it but yeah so what we're going to do now is go to go to burn and we're going to do the same thing but we're going to look for the dark areas so i'm shaping the face now all right that's about it don't need to do anything else more so that's before that's after good um yeah so i'm going to color the image but before i do that i'm going to do another freaking separation um i'm going to create a layer first a stamp visible layer i'm going to delete this one and i'm going to do another freaking separation again just to blend out the face a little bit more so i'm going to go 10 trying to even out the skin a little bit more on the face so just going to do that Let's look at the before, after. Good. So I'm just evening out the face like that. Good. Now we're going to do some color grading. So I'm going to create another stamp visible layer. And then I'm going to go to filter and then go to camera raw. And then I'm going to go here where it says preset. This is my preset. I'm just going to click on it once and then I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit to about there. Then press OK. So before, after. All right, good. I think I need to um, lighten up here a little bit. So I'm just going to go back to the dodge on the brush tool again. I'm just going to lighten up these areas a little bit, just a little bit. All right, that looks good. That's basically the finished product. Well, not fully. Um, I want to get back some detail on the face. It's a little bit soft. So what I'm going to do, I create another um, stamp visible layer. And then I'm going to go here where it says sharpen portraits. That's also a part of my actions. So once you download it, you'll get that. So. Let's look at the before and after for the sharpen. So that's the before, that's the after. Good. So that's it for the image. So the next step now is to save the image. So what you do is to just go to file, go to, um, where is it? Where is it? Export. Then you want to go save for web. Once you're at save for web, wait until it's loaded. Once it's loaded, you're going to change the width to 1080. And then you just save your image 
wherever you wish to save it all right so that's it uh thank you guys for watching and stay tuned next week for another video Thank you.